Yo guys, what's up, bro? I'm gonna show you how to create the insane liquid effect in After Effects. So, without wasting any time, let's just jump into it. So, as usual, we are back in After Effects, and I have this clip from a music video. So, I'm gonna start by rotoscoping out my subject as usual. After you rotoscope, you can play with the feather and shift edge if you like. Then you can just duplicate the clip and delete the rotoscope from the bottom layer. So we have a normal looking clip. So for the first effect, I'm gonna add a wave warp. Then I played around with the value like wave height and I increase wave width. You can find a good value in between and work with that. Then set the wave speed to 3. Then keyframe the wave height and width. Go a bit further and make it to 0. Then I increase the wave width width a bit more and going a bit further then i decreased it to about 90 percent then you can just easy use those keyframe and you can also go over to graph i made this graph for wave high and for the wave width you can make a graph similar to this as you can see we have those black edges to fix that we're gonna add a effect called motion tile then set the output width and height to 200 by 200 and make sure to take mirror edges so to give it more depth, I add a turbulent displacement. Make sure you put it after wave one. Then you can start messing around the amount and size or however you like. Then I gone over to the wave up last frames and just reshoot the value to zero. Then I also did the same with the size. Then I added sapphire distort chroma. This is a plugin, so if you don't have it, you can just scroll through the internet and find a good download for then it. Then you can play with the amount and the blur lens however you like. It's fully customizable, so you can do whatever you like. Then I also keyframe the amount to 120 to zero. And if you have resigned universe, you can add prism displacement. Put the value like one two or something like that and you can also play with the reflect index and softer displacement map then i put it in double the wave warp then i also give him the glass reflection to minus 0.40 to 0 then you can just easy use those keyframe and you can also go over to graph and make this graph right here to add more sauce i added displacer pro so you can get it from the asus website and i played with the translate y and go to edge barrier and make sure to hit like mirror repeat then i also give him the translate y to 43 to 0 then you can just easy use those keyframe and go on to the graph and and made this graph right here then i added optic compensation and put it over displacer pro take reverse less distortion and start bringing up the value then just make it to zero as usual at the end then you can just easy use those keyframes and you can also make this graph right here then i added un saturation and in master saturation i bring it up to like 60 then i give him the channel range to 60 to zero so we have a bit vibrant colors and then i pre comb that layer then i added deep glow if you don't have deep glow you can just use your native glow and i played around the value of the deep glow too then i pre comped all those layer rsmb to top it off then set the value to 0.70 and make the sensitivity to like how we have that real motion blur going on so our final results look like this if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this and you can also follow me in instagram so you can get updated of my life and all the stuff going on so see you in next video bye